Hi there everyone, it's Sarah here and I thought I would uh, do a tutorial and a project for you on behalf of Wild Orchid Crafts as part of their YouTube design team, The Wild Bunch. And what I'm planning to do is make a mini album, um, but make it from 8 by 8 paper. Um, this is the paper that I've decided to use. It's an old stack from about a couple of years ago. Um, it's very kind of shabby, kind of chicy, my style paper, and it's called the Rose Garden. Now, I've hardly got any sheets left in here now, but um, what I'll do is I'll show you what I've been doing. So. If we take a sheet of 8 by 8 paper, okay, and then the plan is to make this a policy style envelope mini. So I've done a template, um, and this is really what we need for the envelope. So what I've done is I've scored it. I'll put all the full details on my blog and I'll try and get um, a bar to come across here with the measurements up the top here. Um, but what you want to do is take your 8 by 8 sheet of paper and do your first score at 1 and 3 quarter inches and then do another score line at 2 inches and another score line at 2 and a quarter inch. Then what you want to do is come across to the far side and have a score at 5 and a half inches, 5 and 3 quarter inches and six inches. So that's your envelope going across the way. What you want along the bottom edge here is you want to score it up at an inch and then from the top you want to come down an inch and three quarters until you're left with a whole sheet with scores on it. And then what you do is you chop out the bottom corners and the top corners. Okay, now how this is going to work is you need to get your fold you create a little fold at the creases so that you're kind of you have this kind of effect and then this is the bottom that comes up that's the top sorry and this is the bottom okay so we're going to have this this type of um, style so what I've done now is um, I'll, I'm going to do one from scratch to let you see Oops, I've been working on bigger ones as well today. I did create a bigger one. This is kind of going off topic, but I created a bigger one today. And I like how this one turned out, so I'll maybe do a tutorial and have that on my blog later. Later as well. Right, what am I looking for? A bit of paper that I ripped out. So, I don't have a scoring board. I just use my paper trimmer and score in the score in the little uh, bit that you normally cut. Okay, so you put your paper in and the first one is to score at, let me get this down here, we'll be able to see. So we want this, the first score line to be one and three quarter inches. Um, I don't know what I've done with my bone folder, I had it a second ago, here we go. So one and three quarter inches and then you're scoring it at two inches. Then you're scoring it at two and a quarter inches. Then you're scoring it at five and a half and then five and three quarters. I was thinking about that there, did you see that? And then six. Then what you want to do is you want to turn it round and score it at one inch. That's the bottom flap. Then you want to turn your paper round and score it at one and three quarter inches. Okay. So this, I'll be able to show you how I've done. Um, so this is what you should end up with. Three score lines and three score lines and one at the top and one at the bottom. So the plan now is that you 
cut out these bottom sections because we don't need those. This is a little bit like the scrap a -lope envelope tutorial that I, I've i got a video up on my channel for and I just, I was thinking about it yesterday and I thought I could modify that to be a policy envelope with a little bit of a give in the sides, an allowance at the sides. So this is what you're then left with. Now what I'm going to do is take my corner chomper and round all the corners at half an inch. Okay. So you're doing the sides, the top and the bottom. Now before you do these two pieces you're going to have to fold this over because it won't fit in the corner chomper. So you want to fold it over at the first set of creases and then pop it in and you get your ends done okay. Alright, so what we need to do now with this is we need to fold in the sides. Now what you want, you can, there's two ways you can do it, I'll show you the first way on this side and the other way on this side. Um, what I was doing was you can fold the, the two edges the way they're supposed to go. This bit needs to go down in the middle and then what you do is once you've got your two edges folded going the right way this just kind of pops in and I find that the easiest way to do it. Then what you can do is you can just take your um, bone folder and just score down just to give a nice crease in the edges. The other way to do it is kind of like a concertina fold so you do it like that and then you do the middle line back the way. It's a wee bit more fiddlier to do it this way and then you just fold over this one. I prefer this method because you get uh, you're guaranteed to get your edges flush. Okay so then what you need to do is you need to put a little bit of adhesive here um, for the bottom part. And I'm just using a bit of score tape. You can put two bits on if you want or you can use a wet adhesive. It's completely up to you. Um, but I'm just showing you this way for the purpose of doing this um, tutorial. Now I should have put a bit of adhesive up that inside edge and I didn't. So just make sure that you do that before you close up the bottom half. So I'm just going to go ahead and attach a little bit of score tape on this inside edge here. Chop that off there. And then just peel this back. There we go. So that's a quick tutorial on your policy envelope. Now you can do these different sizes if you want. This is just given a quarter inch allowance and as you, as you can see it's going to give you room to, to put something bulky in there and close it over. Um, but the, the last step to do is just to pull that, that top bit over and you can use this as an envelope for putting a little handmade card in. Um, that's going to maybe got a little bit of dimension because the sides will allow that um, but for the purpose of this I'm going to make a mini album with it so I've got all my sheets of paper cut um, and it's just a case of going ahead and kind of assembling it now I don't have a binding machine and I don't have o-rings so what I'm planning to do is something a little bit different um, I want to try and put three holes at the side here and try and bind it with seam binding. 
um, just something a slightly slightly different. So I'm going to go ahead um, and show you the rest of the pieces that I have here. I just chose a selection of different patterns um, from the, the paper pack um, and I'm going to go ahead and start to uh, assemble this. So I need to go ahead and do all my sides. So I'm going to be quiet and I'm going to kind of speed the video up a little bit and go through the boring bits. So that's that bit. 